Hello, I'm Pastor Laura Glover, Senior Chaplain at Epworth Villa, and the encouraging word for today is in the moment. I want to share with you on this Good Friday, backing up in scripture just a bit because it can inform how we walk through these next few days. So I'm reading to you from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26, beginning at verse 6. And now while Jesus was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar, a very costly ointment, and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. But when the disciples saw it, they were angry and said, Why this waste? For this ointment could have been sold for a large sum and the money given to the poor. But Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you trouble this woman? She has performed a good service for me. For you always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me with you. By pouring this ointment on my body, she has prepared me for burial. And truly I tell you, wherever this good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. I appreciate a good word from Pastor Rod Newman this past week, reminding us to be in the moment as we walk through this Holy Week. And it becomes more and more immediate to me every day, and especially on this Good Friday, to do exactly that. To not rush through, but to be in the moment. The woman with the alabaster jar, saw Jesus, saw his hurting, and heard his words, what he kept trying to tell his disciples over and over. She saw, she heard, and she was there in the moment with him and gave him a priceless gift and blessing. If we can be in the moment with Jesus as we walk through this remainder of our Holy Week, particularly on this Good Friday, then we will also reap the blessing. So slow down and sit with the pain. Take time with the grief. Give yourself time to really think about what this day, this season means for you, for those you love, for the world. How can you be in the moment with Christ today?